Delilah is so excited to get on her adventure, but I wanted to show you the three things that we take, a water bowl, some flea foam, and our own bottled water. This is Delilah's first time at a park of any kind. And I just thought that I would take this time to document some of the safety precautions that I take with a puppy so that way they can come out. Delilah, good girl! So that they can come out and have fun, but also be safe uh, because they do not have all of their vaccinations yet. Come on, Delilah! Come on, girl! Come on! Good girl! Learning a lot about leash pressure. Up until this point, I've just used harnesses. This collar is a little big. It's called a martingale collar. This gives the tiniest little bit of a correction for a little baby. Come on, Delilah. Good girl. Oh, this way. Good. Good. Now, if you're lucky, you have a dog park that looks kind of like this at your local park. And I'm pretty sure the first thing that most people are going to want to do is to bring their puppy there. That's a big negative. That's a, the, like the biggest no-no you could possibly do right now. Isn't that right, Delilah? Tell them why, Delilah. Tell them why. Well, first of all, there's a cornucopious amount of poop here all the time. And animal poop is practically, practically the only way that your puppy can contract various illnesses, Giardia, Coccidia, Parvovirus, um, all of the common intestinal parasites and worms all come from just, they don't have to eat it, just smelling the poop is all that it takes for the eggs to uh, get inhaled into their system and the rest is history. So not only is there a lot of poop over here, but also the shared water bowl is also a big no-no. Any shared water bowl, any water bowl that you have not specifically given your dog to drink out of is ridden with bacteria. And it's the same concept of they're very nasty. On top of all that, God forbid there's another dog here because you don't want your dog this age meeting any strange dog, big, small, or medium, friendly or not friendly, old, young, it doesn't matter. If you don't know that dog's vaccination status or that dog's behavior to a T with a puppy that's going to be very annoying to them, you don't want to socialize your puppy with that because that's when, even if your dog doesn't get attacked, your dog can still get hurt on accident or your dog can just get very petrified and traumatized from an experience with an overbearing strange dog running up to them. So you don't want to start their little life off with something so scary as that. But what you can do, hold on, she's, ooh. What you can do is let them sniff, but there's no other dogs here. Let them sniff around it. If there were dogs here, I would go a farther distance away, like back on the path, and she could watch them. They'd probably bark at her and things. She could watch them for a minute, and then we would just continue on our walk. 
it's very easy to get wrapped up in all of the things that you want to do with your dog the moment that you bring them home but it's important to remember that they're just like a newborn baby you can't take a newborn baby on a roller coaster you can't take a newborn baby many places i mean you could try but it's not going to do much good and it might actually do some harm so i just wanted to really really point that out um and even with the poop thing i have to be in constant watch of her good potty good girl what a good baby oh my goodness oh my goodness there's plenty of dogs that poop out here and their owners don't clean up after them so you gotta watch your dog for signs that something is very interesting to them now she found a stick so she's so happy good job chris close the gate for me um if you see your puppy pulling you very very hard towards something on a walk even on the pathway right there um steer them in the opposite direction because it's really only going to be one of two things animal poop or food and by food i mean food that somebody dropped or a dead animal so you don't really want your puppy to come in contact with any of those things so if they are like super super into the ground and sniffing and going to a, like a specific spot and they like cannot get away from that spot mm, exit exit that area immediately because there is something there that probably is not too good for them right now um once they have all of their shots and everything if they smell another dog's poop um, they can still contract those parasites and stuff but at that point you should be giving them the uh, monthly preventative and so that'll kind of cancel that out before it starts but when they're so small sometimes they don't even have a weight limit for them yet on different medications so those are just my very basic safety measures that I take while we're out. And of course, even if there's a dog walking, I don't let them say hi. Um, and if the person is, you know, pushy or something or their dog is pushy, um, when they're this small, you could just pick them up. Just pick them up and say, oh, I'm so sorry. No, she doesn't have all her shots yet. But thank you. Maybe a different day. Right, Delilah? Yeah, here we go, girl. We want to stay safe while we get socialized and have fun. What you don't want to do is just keep your puppy inside all the time and not expose them to all of these environments. But you just have to know the right way to do it. The safe way. The super duper safe way. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I think of anything else, I'll document it as we go. We just started. We just started. Oh, Good girl. Very good. Say bye. Bye for now. Bye bye. Letting your puppy experience all kinds of things when they are small like this is so important for their mental and physical development. She is feeling so many different textures on her paws. She's smelling so many different smells. She hears the boats going by, the birds chirping. There was a dog that barked at us. She's having to use her muscles to climb over the rocks and navigate small obstacles. And she even gets all four paws in the water, which is so exciting. We're just gonna end the video with a couple pictures that I took once Delilah decided that she was all done exploring and she just wanted to lay right next to mommy and take a nap. So we hope you like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.